What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Cultureverse, episode seven, I think, right? Seven. Yeah, yeah, episode seven. Episode seven. It's moving along quite fast. It is. Uh, I'm I'm your host, Caden. This is, of course, my co-host, Matia. Hello. So, basically, we're just going to hop right into this. Our first topic we have to talk about is Transformers Rise of the Beast. Now, there was a, they released their second trailer pretty recently, and it looks pretty, it looks, it looks nice. Yeah. I, you know, it's, it, it looks like something you expect from a Transformers movie. Yeah. That yeah. makes sense, which means, which doesn't make it bad, but, you know, it makes it interesting. I, I, yeah. I'm kind of excited for it, I'm not going to lie, because last Transformers movie I saw in theaters was the first one, of, like the new reboot with Mark Wahlberg. Yeah. And uh, I remember liking it, but I don't remember like too much from it. But I remember it being dope. Age of Extinction. I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, Age of Extinction. Right? I don't remember. No, no clue. No clue. I'm pretty sure. I actually like the Mark Wahlberg ones. Yeah, the, uh, I know they do get like a lot of hate. Yeah, because maybe because Shia LaBeouf wasn't in it. But no, he since he's a classic, everyone loves him. He's an OG. It made his career. I'm pretty sure it did. But uh, I know I was getting a lot of hate because he wasn't in it, and they replaced him with Mark Wahlberg. Whole new character, whole new storyline, but with the same Transformers. Yeah. I mean, like, I actually think he did pretty good. Yeah. You know? I mean, well, Mark Wahlberg in general is just a terrific he's a good, actor. He's a great actor, yeah. you know? But this is, like, fresh, I'm pretty sure, because, like, completely new take. Yeah. Like I said, I don't even think uh, Michael Bay is going to be doing it. We're getting tra- uh, what's his name? Optimus looks completely different. He kind of has. I like that. Yeah, I like the retro look. Yeah, I like that like, look. Like, 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 uh, the cartoon version mm-hmm. one. I, like I love that. that look. Yeah. Because I watched the uh, old old Transformers one. Yeah. That came out in the nineties. I'm pretty sure. It looks, right. It looks pretty sweet. Yeah, it's I like. Yeah, I think it. like early two thousands, you know, mid late nineties mm-hmm, or something. Mm-hmm. Like ran through that time. Yeah. But uh, yeah, no, I do love the retro look of it, especially on Optimus. Uh, in the trailer, I didn't. I didn't see Bumblebee. I'm not sure. Did I? Uh, and the second one he was in there, he was dropping down and he was like shooting the drones. It was actually pretty cool. Okay, Bumblebee's right. always been. Yeah, uh, he's always really been a cool. classic. Yeah, he's, he's like, always been that in this guy. Movie? I, I just don't remember seeing him. Yeah, no, he's he's gonna be in this one. He's okay. gonna be in this one. The question is, is he gonna be able to talk or not though? I hope so, man. Like I'm kind of getting sick and tired of him like not talking. Yeah, I, I, I want to see him. Yeah, I want to hear his voice. And we kind of got to hear it in the Bumblebee movie when they showed the flashback at Cybertron. Um, but we haven't gotten much else from that in any other movie. Yeah, other than uh, I think one of them where it's like he was able to communicate with like the radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that Which, was funny though. Yeah, that that was like a cool. Like, that was, that was a cool idea. How like uh, when Megan Fox is walking away, he says, "He's like, baby, come back." Oh, I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I was yeah. like, let's go. I'm like, That's the <laughs> ultimate wingman right there. I know. Um, Bumblebee was him, bro. Yeah. He was a wingman. I actually like. <laughs> I like. I did like the radio thing. It was funny because they yeah. had like a lot of funny moments from that. So I, I did enjoy that, but I, w- I would love to hear his voice. It would be very interesting to see. I think that. we actually heard his voice in Mark Wahlberg series too, like real did quick. We? Yeah, it was. Uh, he was more like of a goofy character. Like it was more like a, yeah. like a goofy guy's voice. Yeah. You know, like he was kind of a jokester. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. if I remember correctly, I kind of I, I do have memory of that. I I gotta rewatch him. Uh, yeah, I got. I, I want to rewatch him. I, I actually rewatched him a couple months back, and it was really enjoyable i i do like that and it's really cool that we're getting to see the beast transformers yeah you know we've only seen that in the shows and still then when they showed them in the shows it wasn't really for that long yeah it wasn't like anything big it's like it's like they acknowledged that they existed Mm -hmm. but they never really went into like their backstory yeah the beasts do look sick only one i'm kind of like iffy about is the eagle (laughs) <laughs> I don't know why. It's just like the eagle gives me bad vibes. The eagle, yeah, I, I don't know. I saw the eagle. I was kind of like, okay, then it was small, <laughs> right? It looked like like a regular size eagle, right? No, it looked kind of big. You think I'm not so? Gonna lie. I have yeah. to look at it again. Yeah, I have to look at it again. But I think because it's so cool that we're seeing it in live action. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Sure, it's a new cast. It's obviously going to take getting used to. That's how it was for Mark Wahlberg for me. I was like, this is yeah. kind of weird, but I'll get used to it. And I did. I enjoy the movies a lot. We're getting a new main character. I don't know what his name is. I forgot. But I think his, it was Noah. Was it Noah? Yeah. I don't know the actor. I'm not familiar with him. Yeah, I'm not either. Uh, I mean, uh, maybe if I search him up, maybe I have seen him in something. But who knows? I think that what's... Do you, I don't think they said the name of the Transformer that was... In the that's the main character Transformer, the main enemy. No, the main tra- like the guy who like how Bumblebee was Mark Wahlberg and Shia LaBeouf's like right hand. I don't know what this Transformer's like name is. Oh, the cast actually doesn't look. Yeah, P 
Pete Davidson and Are you serious? Mirage. Yeah, I don't know who Mirage is. Are you serious? You have Mirage? Ron Perlman as Optimus Prime, and then you have <laughs> uh, Peter Dinklage from Game of Thrones. He's in there. Scourge? 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 I don't know. I'm not sure. I can't really read. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the other place is Anthony Ramis. Uh, what mm-hmm. have I seen him in? Let's see. That's so funny. I, I, I love Pete Davidson. Hamilton, Stars Born. Yeah, he uh, he's a new actor for me. This is my first introduction to him. Yeah, but yeah. So what what, what do you think of the movie? You you hyped for it or? Yeah, I'm I'm really excited. I love Transformers. Yeah, I've always loved Transformers. Like, how can you hate on? I know. Yeah, right? it's just like, it's just a nice action movie. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. And I think I actually like the games a lot too. The games oh my are fun. god, I forgot they were games. Yeah, they were really. Yeah, fun. yeah, I remember those. I remember playing them like on my cousin's like PS2 or PS3. Mm-hmm. But uh. Yeah, wow, those those were good. I, those were yeah. so good because I never played it really for myself, like, like the full story. Yeah, but I have played it. Yeah, because like, thing is, with the games, the main ones that I played was Fall. Of, it was like Fall of Cybertron. One that had to do with the the guy who's the guy from one of the Mark Wahlberg ones, and then I played. I think it was Dark of the Moon. Dark of the Moon was fun because, like, this one map, I would be chased around all the time, and it was really fun. But the games were just so, so good to me. I, I love it a lot. And it's it's going to be a fun experience, I think. Yeah. Uh, like, it's just something fun to go into. It's like something, like, you can watch, and, like, you know, it's not something you have to pay, like, really close attention to, yeah. and, you know, pick up on every detail. It's literally just a fun watch. Yeah. You know, it's what, like, you, know, you have nothing to do that night. Yo, like, you guys want to go see the new Transformers movie? Right. You might as well get some action, see some, like, you know, dope CGI and stuff like that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Bond with the rest of your day. It's not like, you know, like, I'm like, oh, my God, this is the movie of the year, like, thing, you know? Yeah. It's nothing groundbreaking. Yeah, it's just, no, yeah nothing. Right. It's just gonna be a good movie. Yeah, yeah I hope look like, you can't really do it wrong either. Yeah, no, you can't. Yeah, because you have a lot of creativity. Yeah, because I mean, like, you know, there's because with the Michael Bay ones, typically well, we all know how it went like, oh, Transformers, and then some, a big war happens, and explosions, and explosions, and, then boom, and all this. It. Uh, I don't know what's a, if that's going to be the case for this one. It yeah. possibly will be. I wouldn't really be surprised because Transformers are pretty big and they do cause a lot of explosions. Yeah. But I think that good things could be coming. Yeah. Good things could be coming in. And just we're getting everything fresh. I like I like that. You know, we're getting something new. Yeah. I'll take some getting used to, but we're getting something new. I like new. Yeah. But uh, final, any, any final thoughts to get on that? No, I feel like I've said everything I wanted to say. That's fair. Okay, so we have topic two, and that is Avatar, The Last Airbender. Um, I know a lot of us have watched that show. Yeah, that's a childhood show right It's there, a childhood yeah. show. I never watched it like fully, but I have seen episodes. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I love that show. I think it's really great. The storytelling is very beautiful, and the characters are great. There has, they kind of put out a timeline what, what's the word were they they're they're okay they technically put out a timeline of like what's going to be coming out so basically what happens you 2025 i think it's coming uh there will be a new avatar movie that shows team avatar older so we're going to get to see everybody's skills have been sharpened. They might be in their prime at this movie and will be like possibly at his prime at this time because he's going to be great. He was already crazy, uh, as we saw in the second yeah. show, Legend of Korra. But he was also crazy in Last Airbender, obviously. But we're getting to see them older and we haven't seen anything Avatar related since the end of Korra. Yeah. Which was like years and years, years ago, ago, yeah. And then what did the live action movie come out before Legend of Korra or after? E- before? Before or during. I don't know if it was I don't think it was after, but I think it was before or during. I remember that was a big flop. 
I <laughs> it was. But what's really funny is when I watched it as a kid, I loved it. But then when I got older, I watched it again. I said, "This is this is horrible." Yeah, no, I never, I've never seen it. All I heard was just negative, negative things about it. Oh yeah, because whenever I, whenever I watched it, it was horrible. Like it, like it didn't make any. It, okay, so like, I wouldn't even say it wouldn't make sense because they tried to stick with the show. But but the thing is, it was first of all the bending was kind of weak. Like fire bending was chill, earth bending was just. Ugly. I know you've seen. Have you seen like the jokes about them? Everybody having to use their full force to send a rock at them. Like. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. that. That's ugly. That's pretty ugly. Yeah. I, it was just. It just wasn't good. But the show though is still one of one of the greatest shows I've ever watched. I, I love watching it. It's a, it's a comfort show of mine. Yeah. I, I love rewatching it. It's 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 so good. Cora is an. It's not bad. I, I personally think. Last Airbender and Last Airbender is better. Well, obviously, yeah, you can't really top that. At all. Oh yeah, no, of course. Because like, like there's very rare occurrences where a spinoff show or a sequel is better than the first one. Yeah. Very rarely we'll get a movie or show where the sequel it will top the best one or the first one, such as you know The Godfather Part Two, mm -hmm. better than the first one. The Dark Knight, better mm -hmm. than Batman mm -hmm. Begins. Mm -hmm. And with Legend of Korra and Avatar. Avatar was just not ahead of its time. It was like during its time, but it was just written so and done so beautifully and executed great that you couldn't top it. Yeah, no, you can't. Yeah. The they came like right out of the gates with that. Yeah, game. yeah, yeah. The only thing I will say, Cora did better is the combat because like things were in a, in a sense because the combat there was more of it and the choreography was like. I, w I wouldn't even say better. I would say it's kind of just improved a little bit upon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think what the how long did the show come out after uh, Avatar? I'm not sure. A little bit after, though. Yeah. So it probably had a few years, you know, develop. Yeah. But the thing is, like, we. OK, so the issue about the combat between the two, Korra, there was a lot of combat, but everybody was just so aggressive with their bending. Like, no matter what bending style you had, it's a lot was very aggressive. But typically, it's only the earth bending that has the aggressive force of it. Fire bending is kind of aggressive, but like still very smooth. But earth bending is, it's like aggressive. Like, yeah. that's how it is. Strong, powerful, that's earth bending. But that's how it was for a lot of the bending in Korra. But in Avatar, we got to see the uniqueness of each bending style. And. They did really good with like water, your flow, it's all inside of it's like all inside of you. You had to like be calm, let it all flow through yeah. you. Air bending, kind of the same thing. You're also letting that flow through you, but there's more force put into it, obviously. Earth bending, like I said, is aggressive. Fire bending is somewhat aggressive, but it's smooth. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's the uniqueness that they showed in Avatar that made that combat more, I would say, like that's what technically made it better than Korra's combat, but there was more combat in Korra. Yeah. Well, which one was Korra again? Well, she was Earth, right? She was water. She started off as water. Okay. But then she obviously learned the new elements, but she was she was water. I think the cycle is yeah. The cycle is you start your air, then when you pass on is water, then Earth, then fire. So we're we're also going to be getting another spinoff. Um, that is going to focus on the Earth um, avatar now, I'm pretty sure, at some point. There is no release date for that, but... I know they already did casting, too. Did they? Did they cast him? Are, is this like a live-action movie? Or? Nah, it's animated. Oh, it's animated. Okay, I know they're making another live-action movie. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they are. Yeah. Well, actually, it's actually, I'm pretty sure it's a, it's a show, show on Netflix. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because yeah, I know the cast already got released. But I just yeah, that guy know got, got released. Out. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. They haven't really. They haven't. They haven't set them set a release date for that yet. But like, yeah, they have casted things. You're right. Yeah. 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 Because I have heard about that. Mm -hmm. Basically, what they're gonna do for that is every season is a new book. Obviously, like book one is water. Yes, book one is water. Two. Earth, three, fire. They're gonna be spread out pretty well. Um, they put out the release years. I don't really remember them, but they put out the release years for 
what will be coming in that show. But now this is going to be just animated. Okay. Um, the With the Earthbender. The live action is just Last Airbender with live action. Hopefully it's executed right. This is something you can do in live action. Yeah. You just have to do it right. They didn't do it right with the movie. Movie, yeah, obviously. I feel like a show is more promising than the movie. Mm-hmm. Because you know, show you have multiple episodes to make for, like, make up for. Like, say if you did screw up something, yeah. you can, you know, maybe the next episode you can do it better. Yeah, and you know, that's what I'm saying. So there's a lot of room. We have we have the template. Yeah, you know what I'm saying for the live action for the live action show. Now for the animated movie, they Nickelodeon does good with their animated movies with those type of things. So I actually is it Netflix or only no I. I think it's just Nickelodeon doing it. There's a lot of hope for this. I want to see. I want to see some nice combat. I want to yeah. see like. I want to see them show how much they improve because this is like years after. They're like yeah, taller. They're older. They're like stronger, better, yeah. smarter. Just, just in general, just overall way better. That's what I'm saying. And yeah. I want to. I want them to show that. Because especially they can use like anime fighting styles that we have now. Because mm-hmm. you know, if you watch certain anime, some of the fight scenes go crazy. I'm not a big anime guy myself. Yeah. But I will see like on TikTok, on Instagram, the fights are crazy. The fights will go <laughs> insane. The fights. It's like these guys are delivering devastating blows into each other. Yes. Ooh. And like the a guy gets you know like punched into the ground and he mm-hmm. wakes back up he's at the core of the earth and he just like jumps out and he yeah. smacks the other guy into space yeah why and i i love anime fights i think they're really those yeah here's the thing anime fights is just like something that you will not see in anything else yeah like and that's not even me being a nerd that's just me stating fact yeah because with anime it's just it's like a whole nother level of action <clears throat> like like Obviously, you, you can, great. Most likely, we will never get that in the live action. Movie. No, not at all. Like, <clears throat> not I, at all. I, I can't see like any character, real or fictional, delivering blows like how anime like. Yeah, that's what do. I'm saying. Yeah, because like anime is its own, it's its own level. Yeah, like other than maybe like I, I know we kind of have to stay away from superheroes. I can see Flash kind of because you know he can move quick. Yeah, he like can that. move kind of quick. But like that's it. That's all, that's all we're gonna say about this. <laughs> I'm not trying to back down that road. Look <laughs> at the viewers, something new. But that's the only way I could see anime working, like an yeah. anime fight scene working in live action. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. it. Yeah, because like anime's with action, peak action. Yeah. Like, because that is when you, that's when you get fights. Like, you get yeah. fights. You get some devastating, especially if it's like, like not like like super, super duper gory, but if you see you know, some teeth getting knocked out, yeah. blood flying. Then it That's really right. amps it up. Yeah, it's like yeah. wow, like you know, like they're out, they're they're out to kill each other, kind of. Yeah, 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 exactly. It's just it's it's something else. But you know, the release date for this Avatar movie is October tenth on twenty twenty five. So a year after I graduate, I will be a sophomore. That's yes, you wild. will. That's insane. That is insane. It's so far like, away. No, dude, that's... Th- I was thinking about that, dude. Everything seems... Especially with, like, other movies I'm looking forward to, it seems so, so far away. But before I know it, it's, it's going to be there. Because, like, I was... That's how it is for games for me. Because, like, yeah. I'll be, like... I'll be playing a game, and I was like, wow, I remember when this first got announced. You yeah, know? no, same, same, Like, yeah. Jedi Survivor... What was the most recent one that I was thinking about? I, it got Ragnarok. Yeah, I remember yeah. when that first got announced, like, I was like, years cool, ago. bro. I'm like, let's go. I'm like, we're getting God of War Ragnarok. You know, like, in 2022, what? I know. And yeah. now it's like, I'm a senior. I got a couple of months left to school. Not even anymore. I got a couple of days left to school. Right, that's what I'm saying. And it's like, wow, I've already beat God of War Ragnarok. <laughs> I know, right? It's crazy. It's over. Yeah, and I know, no, it's crazy. And the time does fly. Like, it, yeah. it really does fly. And it's 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 great. I, I love that so much, and we'll we'll be there in no time. We will be there in no time. Christ. But uh, any final thoughts you want to get now? No, like I said, uh, I haven't really watched a lot of the Avatar series. I've only watched episodes because my brother Luca, big geek about it. Same mm-hmm. thing with anime. He is the one who got me into you know like stuff like this. You know, just being a big cinephile in general with movies, TV shows. And I know he has like a little special place for anime in his heart. I kind of rip on him for it. A bit. I'm not gonna lie. You had to try it, bro. One day I tried it. I'm like, okay. I'm like, I can't rip on Luca anymore. I'm like, this is pretty sweet. It it is. So, like I said, I've tried to get into it, but uh, I can't. But Avatar, I kind of consider more of like a cartoon. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. So like, yeah. I do kind of want to watch it. I just don't know where to watch it. I think probably it's on like Hulu. Ooh, Avatar. Yeah. Uh. I mean, you can probably find it on Amazon Prime. 
You will find it on Amazon, but not Prime. I think it's on Netflix still. If if it's not on Netflix, it's likely chances on Peacock since Peacock has Nickelodeon. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, sorry, I'm literally checking Netflix right now on my phone. <laughs> Oh, they yeah, it's on here. Wow. Yep, Avatar's on here still. So. Yep. So yeah, oh, nice. I think. Listen, bro. Wait, so like the whole anime thing? Is it like you don't? Is it like you find it boring or? No, I I, I really don't know what it's like. Uh, a couple of months back, I started Attack on Titan. I got that one took a while to get. No, this, I got like ten episodes. I'm like, oh my god! I'm like, this is so cool, and I just never touched it again. I don't know what it is. It took me a while. It's I just it don't know what it is with anime. I tried the same thing with Naruto. I watched a couple episodes with my brother. He was on episode, whatever. Like uh, a scene I remember is when Rock Lee was like standing on the rock, and he's like, "Yo, Rock Lee, like, oh take it, like, man, that's take the off greatest. Your that's yeah. one of the greatest fights of that yeah. show. I, he's like, take off. He's like, he's like, like take off your weights. He's like, okay, what are a bunch of stupid ways gonna do? Rock I know, and then it just it drops. Blows it's up. Just, oh, I'm like, man. I was. I'm like, just, I'm like, oh, I'm like, I look at Luke. I'm like, we in for a show, man. <laughs> and I'm watching it. And it's so sweet. It was good. But it I was just good. don't know why. I just, for the life of me, I cannot get into anime. I think it's. And I feel bad because I know I'm missing out. You Except are for Dragon out. Ball Z. I've watched Dragon Ball Z. Okay, a good chunk valid. of it. Yeah. I'll say this. It's like, it depends on the anime because everybody's kind of interested in the whole thing. For me, Attack on Titan, it took me until season two to get into. To it's funny because I was into I was into Attack on Titan like right away. Mm -hmm. I just don't know what it is. I just never touched it again. Because that, that happens to me. No, that yeah. happens to me. And I, I don't even think, I think it's just like, you just might get like bored over first. Even if you like it, you don't want to pick it up. That's how it is for me with anime. Yeah. That's how it is for some games too. Like I'll love the game, but I won't touch it for a while. It's, you. Have to, I will, okay. I'm gonna give you some recommendations cause, uh, later, cause it's try. You want you want to try some other things, and trust yeah. me, because with Naruto, it's a slow burn. But that fight was really good. Attack on Titan for me, Attack on Titan always has been hit or miss though, cause you know uh, I I know some people who watch the first episode and was like this is crazy, but like when I watched the first episode, I was like okay, we'll see how it keeps going. I'm yeah. kind of trying to get into it, but you you should keep watching Attack on Titan. Season four is the is probably one of the greatest seasons. Yeah. Of the um, my brother, he says he was like, yeah, he was like, like, the way it starts and the way it ends, you wouldn't. It all believe, connects. Yeah, you wouldn't even believe it's the same show, but it is. Yeah, it all yeah. connects too. And when you when you reach that fourth season, I just want to say that season was probably it really is one of the greatest seasons of anime that I've ever seen. One of. Wow. Because it's very beautifully written, and when you realize that everything is all connected and they show how it is connected. It's insane. Naruto is still my favorite anime, so I have a, that holds a very special part of my, a place in my heart. Yeah, but I, I'll give you some recommendations later because right. you got to attack on time. Yeah, I'm, I, I got to start because like I I was so into it too. I'm like, this is so sweet. You'll be geeked that on season four. Like knowing you, oh, your mind will be blown. You'll text me and be like, bro, this is crazy. <laughs> oh, man, what is going on? You would no, you will think that. Yeah, it, 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 it's insane. I remember what I thought. There was a moment that I'm not gonna spoil it, obviously, but there was a moment in season four. Genuine shock. Yeah. Like genuine shock. I was That's like, like the no best way. of the show is it when you just have like that genuine shock, like shock factors. Very oh big. my god. Dude. It's just it's just nuts. It's just I was, insane. Yeah, it's insane. So yeah. It's like then you a, get hit with that derealization. Yeah, no. And you're like, wow. Ooh, it's insane. Happened. It's insane. Yeah. Yeah, because I was like, wow. That's crazy. But, you know, I'm, but yeah, you, you do want to get back into Attack on Titan. I'll send you some recommendations of what I yeah. like. But uh, actually, you should check out My Hero Academia. But we'll talk about that later. We'll talk about that, <laughs> we'll talk about that after this. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's kind of just our final thoughts on Avatar. All right. This is, I realize this is a bit. It's going to be a bit of a shorter episode, but that's okay. Yeah. I'm not so really sure. for a third topic, as you all know, I think they're on the 11th Fast and Furious movie. I don't even know anymore. Uh Kaden, you go first, man. You go first. So what fast, so fast and furious. <laughs> don't even. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't even know. Like, I gotta be careful with what I say. Man. I got, I got some, I got some feelings on this, man. I do too. It's just, it's, it's, 
It's just oh goofy. God. It's so goofy. It's a, they went to space. You can't stop my family. They went to space. Like, Vin Diesel, we're tired already, man. <laughs> they went to space in a car. I, I, oh, my God. Like, how, do you, how, do, how are you writing this? How are you sitting down in your chair, right, and you're writing this, and then they go to space <laughs> in a car. John Cena and Vin Diesel are now brothers. They, like, right, he writing this like, well, there's some heat. See, it's, like that, it's like that one scene, I think it's like with Future, something how Future's like sitting at the oh desk and the God. fire's like going on behind him and the, he's like writing on the piece of paper. Yeah, I know exactly. <laughs> That's how that what guy's probably about. thinking. He's like, oh my God. And then they find out they're brothers. <laughs> like, that's insane. Like, he, yeah. was, he definitely was like, no. Oh, oh, yeah, this is hard. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is hard, man. Mm-hmm. People are going to love this, man. <laughs> no one liked that. <laughs> like, who let you cook, bro? <laughs> <laughs> the, the movie is just, okay, so what is this, Fast 10? No, it's That's 11, I 11? think. 11? Yeah, I think yeah. it is 11. The last one was 10 where they went to space. Yeah, it went to space. but Space and it's, family. I, 10 was really... I didn't really like... I didn't like 10 at all. I don't think I've watched a, a Transformers movie... Or not Transformers. A Fast and Furious movie since, like, Tokyo Drift. I'm not gonna, I've, never been, I've never really been a big Fast and Furious guy. I haven't either. But yeah. I, I did watch Hobbs and Shaw, like, the Fast and Furious spinoff with the... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, with uh, The Rock, the Rock and, and Jason, Jason Statham. Statham. Sa- yeah, Statham. 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 Sternum. I, I uh, Statham. I, I have no clue. He, he's a funny <laughs> guy. I, I like his acting. Let's yeah, I do too. I saw him in this one comedy movie not too long ago. I forgot what it was called. I think it was called Spy or something. Mm-hmm. It was a comedy movie. I liked him in it. I thought he was funny. Yeah, the I like that movie a lot because that, that also had Idris Elba in it. I like Idris Elba as an actor. So I enjoyed that. But Fast 10 was, was not the move. I all. know. I love how like, they cast like, like the most just like muscle meatheads ever yeah. in movies, dude. Like it's like they're, like they're all famous. They're all like you know very well not mm-hmm. like well known. Not the brightest guys though. <laughs> Hopefully, no. The Rock doesn't bust through that door and start whooping on me, man. Oh, no, no. <laughs> that's that's the only thing I'm worried. The Rock about. doesn't want to come back. He does doesn't, not want to come. I don't back. blame him because you know. There's been issues. He does get you no. Know, he does get good movies. You know, he can make good comedy movies. Mm-hmm. For an actor who started off in the WWE, he has range. Oh yeah, that and sense. John Cena. Yeah, yeah, same thing with John Cena. Yeah, uh, we saw a lot of range, obviously in Peacemaker. You know, yeah. we saw a lot of comedic range, and you know, kind of like a little serious. You no, know, like, like he's a good crier. You know, he's a good. Yeah, crier. but it's well, it's like you're right about the right a uh, lot of range, but because. I'm sure at any some point you've heard that him and Vin Diesel like have issues with each other. Yeah. So like they don't like working together. <laughs> Being over who's more bald. <laughs> no, it had to have been. It had to have been. It's definitely it's definitely the rock. My head's shinier than yours. It's definitely the rock. <laughs> There's no question. Yeah. The rock is he's balding. But it's I hmm, I have seen wasn't it wasn't he in fat wasn't the rock in Fast Nine? I I, I don't know, dude. I'm I think it was okay, I think it was eight or nine, maybe. But he was in it. He had the goatee. He was funny in that. I would love to see him again. It's not going to happen. Yeah. Jason Momoa, Brie Larson. I know Jason Momoa is like uh, the main villain in this he? one or something. That's he what I be. heard. Yeah. He might. I would I could see it. He could play it. Because, no, I heard in real life he's not the nicest guy. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. I heard otherwise. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I've, uh, cause I, was, I was looking at this thing, like actors like who aren't like, you know, the nicest people. It's like Matt Damon, Edward Norton, and then uh, Jason Momoa is on Edward there. Edward Norton. What? Uh, Fight Club. Did you ever watch Fight Club? Oh, oh Brad, Edward. Oh, yeah. Not Brad Pitt, but the other guy. He mm-hmm. was also in Birdman. Uh, he yep. played, played the Incredible Hulk. Yeah. He, yeah. Yeah. He, he looks... He, he looks kind of like a jerk. Yeah. He was in the new uh, Glass Onion movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was in there too. Yeah, what's called? But apparently, I hear he's rude in real life. Mm-hmm. But uh, I've heard otherwise about Jason Momoa, though. To really? be honest, because um, he, I've heard that he's like a really like stand up, like you know, nice guy. Because in Game of Thrones, there was a scene where like you know, I know, <laughs> yeah. And they, Emily Clark was like. Or Amelia Clark, I'm sorry. Amelia Clark was like, yeah, he was just trying his best to make sure I was comfortable, all that, and yeah. like all this, and just talking about that. I was like, oh. I think it's like when like uh, I think uh, when I was reading it, it was from like a fan standpoint, you know, they're like, oh mm. my god, because you have, like remember like when fans, yeah, were like oh my god, let me get a picture, come here. You know, but if, like if it might be the fans' fault though, because some yeah. fans are like really obnoxious yeah. about that. So like if Tom Hanks is a nice guy, yeah. but I've saw all that video where like the paparazzi fans are pushing up on him, yeah. and no, they ended up like trampling over his wife, and he yeah. he blew up. He literally like, pushed everyone. Too. I would have went crazy, dude. Yeah. 
not to me. He kept it cool. He was just like, he's like, get the f off my wife and stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, what's your guys' problem? Which like, no, I completely agree. Like, like well, I, uh, that's what must be the worst thing about being famous. Yeah, the paparazzi because they're always and in the your fans. business, man. That I, I, yeah. paparazzi is really annoying. And like, I know like celebrities talk about that a lot, and they really are annoying. And it's just, it's just, but. Yeah, but Jason Moore, I guess he's the bad guy. You said, I'm, yeah, I, I can see he could pull it off. He yeah, pull it off. Brie Larson is in it, and someone else is in it that I can't remember. Anyway, I don't really remember. Yeah, but I don't. I'm not gonna see this movie. I, I, I'm not, <laughs> they are not cooking, man. They are not, <laughs> they are not cooking. I, I, I'm not seeing it. Like, like I just know that for a fact. And if I do watch it, I'm watching it when it comes out in HD, which is like gonna be in. Like three mo- three or four months yeah, after yeah. it comes out, it's gonna drop, and then like two weeks after, it's like the theater release is done, which is like so like a month and a half later. Now go buy you know the DVD. It's like man, man, you guys are some money grabbers. Like, what do you think about bo- box office? How much you think it's making? Sadly, I want to say like probably over a hundred mil. Really? Because yeah, there's 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 idiots in America that would be like, oh my god, the Vin Diesel, you know, the Rock, and you know, action, and cars, you know. I'm giving it I 100 know, mil. Yeah, I know. What I'm I think it might do like between 100 mil and one 120. Because mm-hmm. I know one of my uh, one of my friends, he loves Fast and Furious. He uh, he has he's like he's like, you want to see new Fast and Furious? The last one came out. I'm like <laughs> I'm like, do I want to waste two hours of my time? He's Not like, what do you real. mean, bro? It's gonna be great. I'm like, no. It's, no, it's a flop. I'm like, I'm like, I'd rather, you know, I, I don't even know what to say. I'm like, I, I, I'd rather, do, I'd, I'd rather go fight, you know, like, I'd rather go fight Conor McGregor or something. <laughs> I don't know. I rather. It's, like, it's not good. It's just not good. It's not appealing. It's nothing. It's like, oh my god, jaw dropping. Let's go. I can't wait. Yeah, it's. I uh, yeah. So we both agree we're not seeing it. Oh yeah, a hundred percent. I'm gonna go see the Barbie movie before I see that. <laughs> and the Barbie movie looks fire, bro. Ryan oh Gosling my <laughs> and Margot and, and wow and Margot Robbie is gonna be yeah. in it. There's Michael like, yeah, Michael Sierra too, dude. I yeah. haven't seen him in, in forever. Seen like, Leo. Yeah, and then uh, Will Ferrell too. The cast is stacked. The I cast is that. stacked, dude. The movie's just gonna be so stupid. I'll watch yeah. it though. I want to go see it. It'll I'm not gonna fun. lie, bro. I'm gonna be like, you know, an 18 year old man <laughs> sitting in the theater next to a bunch of nine year old girls. I'm like, let's go, Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going crazy, dude. I'll go see it with my boy. It looks funny. It looks yeah. really funny and stupid. So I, I'm, I would be interested in seeing it. Um, but yeah, that's just our thoughts on the Fast and Furious. I know that was just a whole bashing thing, but yeah. I don't mind. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes a good bashing you know, is what a movie needs. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't really think we have time for it. Like, yeah, we got we like just, five minutes. Yeah, we say that for later. It doesn't matter. Yeah. All right, yeah. All right, so, so, would you like to do the outro? Uh, that's all you, man. I did the outro and intro last time. Okay, that's fair. That's all you. So, thank you for watching Cultureverse, everybody. I know this was a shorter episode. 30, like 35 minutes, I'll say. Yeah. Which isn't bad. Um, it's kind of my bad to do something for No, no. It's hard. You gotta do what you gotta do. Um, but yeah, I mean, we always appreciate you guys for listening, you know, and we'll, we'll catch you, we'll catch you guys later. Oh, also, uh, next week we are bringing on some guests. So yeah. soon we will do the you know, whole QR code thing. Mm-hmm. If you're interested, come on down, you know. Yeah. Some new people. But yeah, all right. We'll all see right. you later, Nova. Peace out, fellas. <laughs>